are you doing? I'm going to smile. It's my fake smile. It's patented. Well, it's patent pending anyway. <laughs> Art and artifice. Some people think I don't get the big picture. Like I'm always sitting here behind the desk talking about gear. I don't like doing that. I, I do up to a point. It's fun making, having discussions about things. Art and artifice. Now the only reason why we've actually improved cameras and keep continuing to improve them, and of course, I'm not interested in gear acquisition syndrome. Like, yeah, right. Said the guy with you know bazillion lenses, right? I'm really not. Um, the only reason we're actually trying to inc uh, improve the artifice, meaning the gear is such that it is more easily translatable into capturing the art or the moment. Isn't photography about the moment? Now, it depends what sort of photographer you are, obviously. If it is of paramount importance that you do not control the photography that you do, like war photography, photojournalism, paparazzi, whatever sort of photography you are, where you don't control it and you actually have to capture the moment, gear is really important to you. Why is it important to you? Because Autofocus tracking and acquisition and buffer are in, it makes the difference between getting the shot and not getting the shot. And if you're being paid to get the damn shot, you want the cutting edge gear that will help you get the shot that Joe Schmuck beside you is not getting. That way you get paid and he doesn't, for example. Or you're happy enough that you got the shot. Now some people are working for photography for fun as a hobby or to get paid. Of course the happiest people are doing it for fun and getting paid, which of course that's not a lot of photographers, but you know I do know the distinction, and you should too. The difference between the art and the artifice. I'm I've never said that uh, you know superior artifice, better gear, makes anybody a better photographer. Obviously, that's not the case. Obviously not. No one would presuppose that. What sort of arrogant hypocrisy and bullocks would I be to make that sort of exclamation? And I'm certainly not and never would be. There are, like I said, photographers in their own classes, photojournalists, whatnot, that have to capture the moment and they want cutting edge gear, superior gear, better buffers. It is part and parcel to their job and work. For those of you like landscape photographer, architecture, real estate, portraiture, where you could tell the person, you know, just like, you know, chill out, you know. Okay, and you, you, you pause, you take the shot. Not that important. Who, who cares if you're using a five-year-old, eight-year-old camera? Who cares? You should enjoy your photography, have fun. The best scenario would be to have fun and make money doing it, right? Wouldn't that be best? Um, but I mean, the gear is about giving the ease and alacrity of expressing one's, expressing one's art, whatever that may be. Whether it's for fun or hobby or for uh, for work. The improvements. However, of course, all of these camera manufacturers do this to make money. You know, they gotta come out with new crap and tell you how much you gotta have it, and then you buy it and you give them money and they use that money to invest in research and development to create new crap that they tell you like the old crap that they made is no damn good. You gotta buy their new crap. You know this, I know this. We all know this. This is a fact. That's the artifice. The improvement, however, the side effect of that artifice is it gives you a better extension of your body to express your art. The only improving artifice or near new gear or the new gear syndrome would be a logical one where you th think or know, which would be best, you know for a fact that this will help you express yourself. Use that camera, that lens, that speed light as an extension of who you are. Every photographer on earth that's worth their salt, um, I, I don't care what you think of me, but they've all said the exact same thing. When you get in that moment, the camera vanishes. It becomes this invisible tool, and they are actually capturing their body like becomes a camera and the camera is completely ignored. They actually like slip. They're not even looking through the viewfinder anymore. They slip through the... I've had those moments. Not recently, but I've had plenty of them myself. Whether you believe me or not, I don't give a damn. Where you actually slip through the viewfinder and then you yourself become part of the camera. Rather, the camera becomes part of you. The improvement of that artifice, and the artifice is the gear. It's just the freaking tool. Is such that you can express your art, your desire, your hobby, or your work better. I'm not about gear acquisition syndrome. I mean, I know I'm not because I'm always talking about frigging old lenses, most of which are cheap and awesome. 
you know, I got plenty of modern lenses, but I'm always recommending the best value stuff. I mean, I'm always recommending like 10 year old cameras like Nikon D3 or, you know, I've got a pair of Nikon D4s. I mean, what a great ass camera. I sure the hell I'm not going to uh, make an incorrect statement because what your photography is, whether that's real estate or landscape, whatever it is, for example, is not the needs of someone else. It's like a paparazzi. So, you know, those people need the best speed lights. They only need speed lights for the power packs because they're ripping them off fast and they cannot wait on the recycle time. When someone is like running, for example, just as an example, like running from a hotel room to the car, I mean, they have to go... They got to get it. So, I hear so many people on these stupid photography forums like, who needs more than six or ten frames per second? It's like, yeah, photojournalists do, paparazzi people. There's a sports action photographers do. If uh, if uh, Nikon, Canon, or Fuji came out with like a 25 uh, frame per second camera, I mean, these people would get a stiffy. They'd get a hard on. They'd have like a wet dream photographer orgasm. Ah! They would, because they need that stuff, because they'll be sitting out outdoors all day long, or be sitting at the, the finish line of some game, waiting for like a two-second window where all the action... They're sitting there with their, with their uh, crotch in one hand, their camera in the other, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, when the time to go... And it's over with. Those people care a lot about gear and a better artifice. That's probably not your photography. And I know it's probably not most of your photography because I see so many people saying on the photography forums, oh, who needs, you do needs more than six frames per second. It's stupid. Stupid for you, maybe. The person has been like waiting for, you know, X number of time to like catch Angelina Jolie leaving the hotel room. They're sitting there out in the cold, freezing their nuts off. And then like two second window, maybe a one second window opens up. Everything has to be working right and it just has to fly like a machine gun. <laughs> Literally. Those people care a lot about better artifice, better gear. Um, just realize that what the photography is that you do, sure the hell is not what the photography is that somebody else does. Whether well, it's their hobby, what they do for fun, or their job, or all of the above. Is the art and the artifice. I sure as hell know. That. I know for a damn fact too that there's no other photography channel that's made a video talking about the art versus the artifice. Who's made a video like that? None of them. If you were to ask them that question, what's the photography? What's the difference between the art and the artifice? What's the distinction? The different, you know. Uh. You know, these are the abstruse aspects of photography somebody doesn't seem to want to comment on. You know, maybe it's not exciting, you know. It's not as exciting as talking about the latest lens, is it? However, it's extremely important. So that's why I made this video. I would love to see somebody tell me that, you know, this video is incorrect in any way. I would love to see that. <laughs> yeah, well, let's have a debate about that one. I won't go very far. I do like trying out new gear. I don't have gear acquisition syndrome. There are certain photographers that should have gear acquisition syndrome because part of their job to get it. And they've got a small window, and if it's got faster autofocus, more frames per second, more croppability, that's really important to their job. And a lot of people apparently don't know that. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye.